The Professor is brought to you by Trillwindtoad.com and MTGMintCard.com, as well as quote unquote morally supported by Jiffy's photo and baseball card. Although none of them sell stuffy doll plush dolls, you can pre-order a Shadow More booster box. But I know everybody gets bored with this, so let's get on to the show. I love it. I think uh, it's been a while since uh, Magic has really gone this dark. I mean, Time Spiral they had kind of the darkness to it, but uh, it's really nice to see something just with more like kind of a horror aspect to it. Uh, really, just I love it. Um, I like it better. It's a great version from Lorwyn. It's most people think it's just a dark Lorwyn. I think it more is a reverse, as in all the roles are really reversed in the society. Well, it's different than Lorwyn, but it's still pretty playable. Like I'm gonna wait to see and to enjoy drafting this hat. Uh, so far, it's pretty interesting, especially for uh, for limited formats. I uh, see a lot of odd interactions, especially uh, with Wither and um, Persist being some very interesting um, very interesting mechanics. Uh, I haven't heard a lot of talk about constructed formats yet, um, so we'll kind of see where that goes. But for limited and from a judge point of view, uh, it is very interesting. When we played our first game, I initially said I didn't like the art of the cards, but looking at it again, I like the kind of desolate, nasty uh, feel of like the screen painting. So I say, yeah, I like the dark flavor. It's a nice change from Morning Tie where it was very light and airy. It's tasty. <laughs> I think, I think it's really great. I think it's uh, going to set up some interesting stuff. Uh, definitely allows people to play monocolor in a new way, as well as setting up all sorts of multicolor stuff. So uh, I think it's, it's surprising they brought it back this early, but uh, they really didn't explore it enough in Ravnica, so I'm really glad to see it. Um, I like it. It makes it easier to draft and sealed. There aren't too many cards that you, have to, that you can't use in a certain deck. Well, I didn't know it went away, but I do like it. I think... Um, the mechanics of it, there's a lot available for it, so I think it'll work out well. Hagrid was a very interesting thing in uh, Ravnica, that's when I first like, really started drafting, so I was really into hybrid, but you never know, it's going to be very interesting. Again, very interesting, you see a lot of players playing um, like mono white or like white green decks and they have some blue permanents on the board, uh, and that actually having an effect on the game, especially with the leeches. Awesome, I've been waiting for it. It really opens up a lot of cards and it enables people to play different colors with the hybrid costs that they wouldn't normally be able to play. So I think it's really going to make it make it very good. Pretty good. The, the one that sacrificed the story target on Nine Basic Land gets rid of a couple of really good ones like Nudavolt, Urborg, that kind of stuff. Like you said, we'll see. Uh, from constructed formats, aside from the Swan stack that everyone's been talking about, um, I haven't seen anything that just jumps out and screams play me. Except for, uh, obviously, uh, Vexing Shusher. Well, whenever the news locks out, it affects standard. I guess, uh, like I said before, it's going to push for colors, and the hybrid is going to affect it. And I'd like to see a withering uh, and persist effect some decks. So I think it's going to be a positive effect. <laughs> That, I think it opens up a lot more possibilities, just there's so many different ways that can affect the different deck types, just because you can put, there's so many cards you can put in many different decks because they count as so many different colors. So uh, I think we'll see a lot more variety than we have in the past. Um, I think it will greatly affect standard. I think it will bring back in color play rather than tribal play. Skittles, prepare the vittles, got riddles and spittles. I sound like a little more to talking about than like stumbling. Take the cake where there's a lot or a little. Kaboom! Doom!
Uh, well, I found Luna to be rather useful. Uh, I, don't know, I, I still haven't seen enough of it to really, uh, to really make a decision on that. But they all, just as far as the way they look, they're all really awesome. And as far as they play, you just have to wait and see. The leash. <laughs> The, the white green leaves. Though the black red one was pretty scary across the board. From constructed point of view, probably Vexing Shusher so far. Um, in combo elements, uh, Swan seems like it can be really abused. Um, maybe Guttural Response can see some play. Uh, but I think uh, Vexing Shusher has to be the, uh, the obvious call here. Well, without getting one, I believe it was called Wilt Leaf Leech. There's a lot of best cards. Look, I'm liking Demigod, but I like the Mara Wave Breakers. They're pretty good. I like the Leech Bonder. They're my favorites. Um, I'd have to say it's Wheel of Sun and Moon. It's a really great effect. Really, it's like anti-Jace if you think about it. Um, here, I'll read it. Enchant player, if a card would be put into Enchant player's graveyard from anywhere, instead that card is revealed and put on that Bottom of that player's library. I am so fucking faster. I am so fucking with my head. No, not so fast. Loses meaning. Um, Shadow more. I prefer the color-based play than the tribal-based play. Um, I haven't really had that much experience with Africa. Um, I still say Shadow more because just by testing it, I think that it's a really great set. Shadow more definitely. Artwork is hella insane. Shadow more. Ravnica is just like a, a cluster crap. Shadow more. Ravnica. I think because I had, more, I bought a box and like I had more cards and. Yeah, I just, it's a soft spot Ravnica, so. Oh, that one's so cute. You got a little Kipkin running around. Shadowmoor is a little, uh, I don't know. Not, not a lot of friendly pets there. Ravnica is star confident. I gotta go with that. <laughs> the vintage player. Hmm. So far, wow, even just know. seeing it for uh, one game now, Shadowmoor. No, it's not. It's more like a mirror, of course. I'll have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> Shadowmoor, it's darker. Shadow War, Rabbit, 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 Shadow